So what's my solution to find out which camera I prefer? Simply go to the Nant in Belgium. Over three hours. <laughs> oh, I still have to go back. Shit. Part of photography for me always has been about exploring, getting a view you haven't seen before or simply stunning. It's exploring the town or nature to capture unique moments that will never be the same again. And this is why my channel swing is focusing on just that, exploring and discovering new places. So today my visit is to Dinant in Belgium, exploring it with my Sony Xperia 1 Mark V and of course the Xiaomi 13 Pro to see which one I prefer better. But at the same time, of course, taking my trusty Mi 11 Ultra with me as well. And while photography is the point that I focus on, this city almost makes me want to discuss the city and the history of it. Like the First World War and how the city was attacked and defended, with an amazing tour that showcases just that, giving you the possibility to learn about the history of the city, and not just the war, but beyond that. You get to experience how they used to live and how this place used to be, including a very nice telescope that shows an image of how it used to be during the war versus how it is now by simply looking outside. If you love photography and videography, this place does you well. If you love history, I think they've done an amazing job with the tour that you can take yourself while going up to the Citadel de Dinant. I, I hope I said that right. It's a medieval fortress. You can walk up there via the stairs after paying 12 euros or go with the cable for a bit more. If you walk up there, be prepared for nice views in between, but also a lot of steps. Here, during this tour, you get to see several historic events and some are bone chilling, hearing the sounds of war going on outside, combined with the effects and styles that they've done, including the trenches in dark and all the stars in the sky as well. While this is a terrifying historic fact about this place, it's good to learn from this and learn from my history. Sadly, I seem to not have learned much from it. But if you go to the net, I would really advise taking a look and exploring this side of it. Apart from everything else that is beautiful about it, I've really loved this tour and I think capturing that has also been amazing for me. Now of course, I know why you're here, so let's discuss my findings when it comes to both of these devices. Now straight away when it comes to video, without a doubt, I prefer the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V with the possibility to record up to 4K and 120 frames per second. It allows you to slow down the footage a lot and create an amazing shot with it. But when it comes to the photo, the answer is a little bit harder. When it comes to the main sensor, I would say they're quite close, with a difference in style, but I really like the main sensor on both. But when it comes to the supporting sensors, that is where the answer lies on which one I prefer when it comes to stills. Now, I like the idea that Sony has for the zooming in with the periscope, allowing two levels, but the result can be soft and grainy with less details, where with the Xiaomi, not only do you have this amazing floating lens technology, you also have amazing portrait possibilities and close-up macros with the telephoto lens. So I would say with the combination and purely my own experience, I would prefer the Xiaomi when it comes to stills. When it comes to the main sensor alone that I use mostly and hardly use the supporting sensors, I would say the battle is close and the difference comes down to preference, style and approach. Because while the auto mode does a decent job on the Sony, I am still inclined to use manual mode. Now of course, we cannot ignore the amazing styles and possibilities that Xiaomi gives you and still having the possibility to use manual if you wish. But for me, when it comes to stills, at the end, I would say I prefer the Xiaomi over the Sony. And that's more of a compliment towards Xiaomi than it is towards Sony, because Sony has been one of those devices that I really liked when it comes to style. So with that in mind, let's quickly look at the rest of the shots that I've taken on both the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V and of course the Xiaomi 13 Pro, having a closing statement at the end about both of these devices. Because while this was all about comparing the Xiaomi 13 Pro versus the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V, I feel like showcasing the city itself is also really important. And I'm wondering, would you be interested in more of a documentary style while showcasing phone performances? Maybe a video where I go out with, of course, for instance, the Xiaomi 13 Pro and showcase the city in video, in stills, and talk about its history. Let me know in the comments below.
Now I know the idea here was to see which one I prefer. Sony Xperia 1 Mark V or the Xiaomi 13 Pro. And I'm gonna give you the answer, but at the end, while being here, I kind of felt like wanting to learn more about Binant. Not sure if I'm saying that properly. And it's a really interesting place for me. Beautiful as well, but of course the history, things that happened here is really well displayed, really well of course captured in the place that I'm at right now. Really nicely done and I've learned quite a lot. So this <laughs> this trip kind of turned into a history lesson for myself. And while the history is bad, it's good to learn about it. It's good to uh, learn from your history and of course not repeat it. Sadly, we humans apparently are not really capable of doing that. But this place itself is some history itself. Well, not good. It's interesting. If you want my answer on Sony Xperia 1 Mark V versus the Xiaomi 13 Pro, they're kind of the same coin but a different side. The Xiaomi 13 Pro is the one you want if you want to do photography quickly uh, while still having the possibility to play around with filters and styles and of course your pro mode. The Sony Xperia 1 Mark V is the one that you want if you want to play around a lot more with the settings itself to get that really nice shot. It really depends on what you want from it and I would hope that that one goes away. And when it comes to the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V, you cannot ignore the 4K 120Hz, which is stunning. And of course, oh, the Wasp is now on my phone. And of course, let's not forget the possibility to use 2.5mm headphone jack as well. That's really beneficial. By the way, not an easy pick and I'm going to let you decide on which one you should go for. But if you want a quick shot, 13 Pro. If you want better video, because 4K 120 frames is beautiful, and of course the possibility to really trickle with everything in the settings, then go for the Sony. Especially if you want to do the 5mm that front yet. Either way, hope you enjoyed this video, especially this kind of style. And because of the history here, I'm not sure if I want to go for a documentary style kind of video while showcasing what both these phones are capable of. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and of course uh, talk to you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and so on. Have a good one.